Well, we've already had the laughs and the tears here at Wave News today. It's because our sports directors last day here. Yeah, for more than two decades, Kent Taylor has been working more than his share of 12, 14 hour days trying to feed you information in a sports crazed market. So tonight, Kent's highlight of the night is Kent. In a world where the coaches he covered and the TV anchors he worked with turned over faster than fall leaves, Kent Taylor remained. The cat's open to hold on to the governor's cup. The cards. 22 years in the Wave Sports Department. I welcome back to Touchdown Friday Night. This Why is that? I know that answer because I watched his first sports cast back in the 90s all the way through today. It's not because he knows sports. 15 weeks and one day after cutting down the nets in Atlanta, the celebration continued for U of L here in Washington, D.C. From horse racing speed figures to figure skating at the Olympics. It's not because he did all the coaches shows, even one where the coach got fired while it aired. This is your first time in a stock car? Yes, sir. And it's not because he wasn't afraid to try anything. <laughs> it's because Kent Taylor cared, not about the scores, but about the scores of stories behind the games we watch. From a colleague's crippling case of COVID. I remember waking up at some point and sneezing and it hurt so bad it felt like it felt like my bones were cracking to a quarterback's scramble against the only opponent he couldn't overcome what I started thinking of if I died tonight if I didn't wake up tomorrow what would people say and it's a weird place to go down at its root sports is about competition and Kent was driven to be the best Kentucky Sportscaster of the Year six times. Most thorough sportscast every time. More than 10,000 sportscasts in his time at Wade. But you can't define what makes Kent Taylor special in any of these videos. It's a photo in the middle of a 12-hour day of covering sports on a busy Friday in March. After dashing out on a brief break to watch his daughter in a talent contest, he takes a break from editing sports to watch it again. Sports highlights pale in comparison to life highlights. Kent, we all know that you are so great at what you do, but you are an amazing human. And I oh, think thank you so we much. are so blessed to know that part of you, aside from the amazing work that you do here. You're an amazing friend. Well, you know, Connie and I have tried to share with the community, obviously, Emerson, uh, you should, I mean, you're going to make me tear up now. But actually, now that's one of the things that I'll be able to focus on coaching her uh, fourth grade basketball team now. We got some work to do, and uh, that's my goal is to get us a win here before <laughs> the end of December. <laughs> yeah. what, if, what if you are fired uh, during the coaches? show? Uh, well, they, they usually don't fire the unpaid coaches. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I don't know that you get anybody else to do it. How, how did it feel looking at all that vintage wow. video yeah. of you? That was what got me. Man, you're old. Yeah, it's been a long time. I mean, back from the and you know, the things that stand out are the Olympics in Salt Lake City, watching the U.S. win a medal in bobsledding for the first time since 1956, American Pharaoh winning the Triple Crown in 2015, when I was standing on the finish line with the Google dolls who had performed beforehand <laughs> because I got up there with Darren Rogers because he had the Triple Crown trophy and and the Ryder Cup those things kind of stand out but there have been so many things over the years you know. Google dolls over Myra <laughs> that just doesn't make sense I mean, come on. <laughs> you know uh, the viewers at home your family to them because you come into their houses every day that they're gonna want to know what uh, what's in store for you and Connie. What's the story now is just a little break. Uh, you know, Connie's working at PR now, so I'm going to take a little break. It's going to be weird to have, you know, a couple of weeks off here in the month of December to sit back and, you know, get ready for the holidays a little bit. We'll do that and then we'll see what's next. I mean, there'll be some uh, some things coming up. I mean, you know, hopefully I got a couple things, a couple possibilities and uh, well, you know, what I'm going to miss is turning to you on Derby Day, thinking I know everything, and you just squashing every bit of info I've got <laughs> times 10, knowing you know, much more. That's so much work, and it's so invigorating to be a part of it. And I, one of the things I'm going to miss is that I was thinking about it today, that Wednesday night of Derby Week when I finished editing, like, the 16th package. Yes. And I'm sitting in there at 2 a.m., and you just the sense of relief. Mm -hmm. And then it's just a matter of getting out there and bringing all that to the viewers. So I, I w I'm going to miss that, yeah. I'm, I'm going to miss you coming by my desk going, hello, Myra, like <laughs> walking by <laughs> all the time. It's been right. a pleasure and an honor. Job well Thank done. you all. Thank all you right. all so much. I'll be right back.
Well, it's always hard when we have to say goodbye to people who play big roles here at Wave News. And today is our sports director, Kent Dale Taylor's last day. So very sad about it that. It is for more than a couple of decades now. Kent has been working more than his share of 12 hour days to feed you the information you need in a sports crazed market because he's sports crazed too. <laughs> Tonight, Kent's highlight of the night is Kent. In a world where the coaches he covered and the TV anchors he worked with turned over faster than fall leaves, Kent Taylor remained. The cat's open to hold on to the governor's cup. The cards. 22 years in the Wave Sports Department. Welcome back to Touchdown Friday Night. This Why is that? I know that answer because I watched his first sports cast back in the 90s all the way through today. It's not because he knows sports. 15 weeks and one day after cutting down the nets in Atlanta, the celebration continued for U of L here in Washington, D.C. From horse racing speed figures to figure skating at the Olympics. It's not because he did all the coaches' shows, even one where the coach got fired while it aired. This is your first time in a stock car? Yes, sir. And it's not because he wasn't afraid to try anything. It's because Kent Taylor cared, not about the scores, but about the scores of stories behind the games we watch. From a colleague's crippling case of COVID. I remember waking up at some point and sneezing, and it hurt so bad, it felt like, it felt like my bones were cracking. To a quarterback's scramble against the only opponent he couldn't overcome. What I started thinking of, if I died tonight, if I didn't wake up tomorrow, what would people say? And it's a weird place to go down. At its root, sports is about competition. And Kent was driven to be the best. Kentucky Sportscaster of the Year six times. Most thorough sportscast every time. More than 10,000 sportscasts in his time at Wade. But you can't define what makes Kent Taylor special in any of these videos. It's a photo in the middle of a 12-hour day of covering sports on a busy Friday in March. After dashing out on a brief break to watch his daughter in a talent contest, he takes a break from editing sports to watch it again. Sports highlights pale in comparison to life highlights. You got mad at me for taking that picture, but I'm telling you, I was tearing up just watching uh, you were so into that. You know, that. that's what it's all about, and that's what now I'll have the opportunity to spend some more time, uh, you know, mention it, coaching her uh, fourth grade basketball team. Uh, practice tomorrow night, 5 o'clock, you know, which was <laughs> tough with this schedule to work it out. But, uh, so yeah, we'll be doing that. And, uh, Did you find the like girls that. aren't up on their skills with you spending so much time here? Uh, producing yeah, sports? I feel like we've been lacking. So, yeah, we're okay. going gonna to get that right. going. We got the Dribble Up app. Emerson's working on, you know, improving her dribbling and stuff like that. So, but I just want to thank, uh, you know, everybody for letting me come into your homes for 22 years. And I was at WLKY, WLKY before that as well. And having grown up here, I'm passionate about sports here. And, uh, you know, just telling the sports stories and following the teams has been a great honor for me to be able to do for all these years. Kent, we have enjoyed you every day here for the past 15 years that I've been with you. You've treated me like family. And, you know, that's what we say here so many of us, we've been together for so long that it is really hard when we know that we're not going to see you every day, but we know that you're with us as well in our hearts. And that's the, the beauty time. of social media, too, is, you know, you can keep up with Connie yeah. and I and, and Emerson as well. Yeah, and Emerson, um, I was yeah. telling <laughs> Kevin that Emerson. She's really the star. Yeah, frankly, we've grown to like Emerson you know? a little better than you were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, that's, that's a fact. Yeah. All right. We love you. We, we love you. We're going to miss you. Thank you so much. You're Great job, by the way. On that. All right. Thank you. All right. Night, ladies, next. Good night.